Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to use Binance. All the important timestamps will be down in the description and with that being said let's hop right into the video. The first thing I will show you in this video is how to create your own Binance account. To do this you need to go over to Binance.com. You'll then see a screen looking similar to this one. You'll then need to click on the register now button or on the register button in the top right. You'll then see this screen and here all you need to do is to fill in your email and your password. Or if you would like to create your Binance account using your mobile phone number, you can click on the mobile button, select the country you're in and fill in your mobile phone number. But I want to create my Binance account using an email. So I'll go over to email and fill in my email. And once you've entered your email, you'll have to fill in your password. And once you've filled in your email and your password, you can click on create account. You'll then have to go through the security verification process. So you'll need to drag your puzzle piece over to the grey puzzle piece. You'll then have to go over to your email and copy your six figure code. You'll then have to paste your code in and you'll then see the welcome to Binance screen. I will show you later on in this video how to deposit funds. So for now you want to go over to the icon in the top right and click on dashboard. You'll then need to go over to security on the left side of your screen. And I recommend you enable your phone number verification as well as the Binance slash Google Authenticator. Your account security is one of the most important things. That's why I will show you every single thing you need to do to make sure your Binance account is as safe as possible. I won't go over how to enable the security key, but I will show you how to enable the Google Authentication, the SMS Authentication and last but not least how to change your email address. So first off, you should go over to their website and hover your mouse over this icon in the top right. You'll then need to click on security. You'll then see this page. And right now I will show you how to enable the Google Authenticator. The first thing you'll need to do is to go over to Google Authentication and click on on. You'll then see this screen and you'll see that the first thing you have to do is to install the Google Authenticator app. So go over to your phone, open up the App Store or Google Play Store and search for the Google Authenticator. Once you have installed the Google Authenticator app, you need to go back over to your computer and click on next. Now make sure that your QR code is visible on your computer screen. Once you have installed the app, open it and you'll then see this screen. Now I want you to click on the plus button in the bottom right. You'll then see those two options and you need to click on the scan QR code button. Since my language is most likely different from yours, you need to click on the icon with the camera in it. And there you have it, Binance is now in the Google Authenticator, but we're not done yet. You'll have to go over back to your computer again. You'll then see the backup key. You'll have to save this key, because this key will allow you to recover your Google Authenticator in case of phone loss. So make sure you save your backup key on paper or on any other device except for your phone on which you have the Google Authenticator installed. And now, once you've saved your backup key, the last and final thing you need to do to enable the Google Authenticator is to click on the next button. The last thing you'll have to do is to fill in your email verification code and your Google verification code. So go over to your email verification code and click on click to get code. You'll then have to go over to your email, copy the verification code and paste it in. As you can see, I've entered my email verification code and now you'll have to fill in your Google verification code. So open up your phone, go over to the Google Authenticator app and fill in the six figure code generated in the Google Authenticator app. Once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, click on submit. I will now show you how to set up the SMS authentication. Again, to activate the authentication method, you need to click on the on button to the right of SMS authentication and then enter your phone number. You'll then have to click on get code and fill in the six figure verification code sent to your phone. And once you've entered that code, you'll have to click on get code and fill in your email verification code. I will now show you how to change your email address. To do this, again, you should go over to the icon in the top right and click on security. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you want to go over to email address and click on the change button. Please note, for your security, withdrawals from your account will be disabled for 48 hours once your email address is changed. In order to change your email address, you must enable Google Authenticator or phone verification. Once you've read that, you can click on next. You'll then have to fill in your email verification code. So click on get code and fill in the code you receive. Once you have filled in your email verification code 
you can go ahead and enter your new email address. So make sure to enter your new email, confirm your new email, and also you'll need to fill in your new password. Once you've done that, you can click on next and you'll then have to verify your new email address. I will now show you how to deposit on Binance. There's two ways you can deposit. You can either deposit fiat currencies like the euro or the dollar, or you can deposit cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum or Cardano. First off, I will show you how to deposit fiat currencies. What you need to do is to go over to Wallet in the top right and click on Fiat and Spot. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And you want to click on the deposit button right here. You'll then see this menu. Here you can deposit Fiat. If you're being sent over to the deposit crypto page, just go over to the top right and click on deposit Fiat. First off, you should select the currency you want to deposit. For me, this will be the Euro, since I live in Europe. Once you have selected the currency, you will have to select the method you want to use to deposit. As you guys can see, the bank transfer is currently suspended, so I'll go over to recommended and press bank card, Visa slash Mastercard. Once you have selected the method you want to use to deposit your funds into Binance, click on the continue button. You'll then have to fill in the amount of euros or any other fight currency you want to deposit. So let's say that I would like to deposit 1000 euros. I'll go ahead and fill in 1000. You'll then see the transaction fee and you need to click on confirm. And if you don't have your card set up yet, you can click on change card, click on add new card and fill in your card number, your expired date and your security code. Once you've done that, you need to click on next. Now, once you have set up your card, all that's left to do is to click on confirm. If you want to deposit cryptocurrencies onto Binance, again, go over to wallet and click on find and spot. Over on the find and spot page, you'll need to click on the deposit button in the top right. If you're being sent over to the deposit find page, just go over to the top right and click on deposit crypto. You'll then see this menu and the first thing you need to select is to fill in the coin you would like to deposit. This can be Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, Binance coin. You can also search for any other cryptocurrency you would like to deposit. So let's say I would like to transfer Cardano onto Binance. I'll go ahead, fill an ADA and click on Cardano. You'll then have to select the network you want to use for your transfer. In this case, that will be ADA. Now the address will pop up. You can copy your address by just clicking on the click to copy button. And by the way, please be aware that you can only send Cardano to this deposit address and you need to ensure the network you're using is Cardano. If you would like to learn how to transfer from a specific exchange to Binance, just go over to my channel, go over to the search bar and fill in Binance and then the name of the exchange you would like to transfer from. You'll then see the video pop up and just click on it. I will now show you how to buy cryptocurrencies on the Binance exchange using Fiat. When I go over to Wallet and click on Fiat and Spot, you'll see that at the moment I have around 1100 euros on my Binance account. So if you want to spend your Fiat balance on buying cryptocurrencies, you need to go over to Markets in the top left. You'll then see a page looking similar to this one and you need to go over to Fiat Markets. And you can then go over to the search bar and fill in the ticker symbol of the coin you would like to buy. The ticker symbol of Cardano is ADA and once you've filled in the ticker symbol of the coin you want to buy, you'll have to fill in the ticker symbol of your Fiat currency. The ticker symbol of Euro is Euro. You'll then see the pair available for trading and you need to click on it. You'll then see a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you need to go over to the place order section. If you're using the pro layout, this will be on the right side of your screen. And if you're using the default layout, this will be on the middle of your screen down at the bottom. You'll then have to go over to buy and decide if you want to buy your cryptocurrency using a limit order or using a market order. Using a limit order, you can set the maximum price you are willing to pay per coin. Once you have decided the price you want to spend per coin, you can go over to amount and fill in the amount of coins you would like to buy. You can also select a percentage of your holdings using the percentage bar. And once you have set the price and the amount, all that's left to do is to click on the buy button. Using a market order, the only thing you can fill in is the amount of euro or fiat currency you would like to spend on your order. So let's say that's 100 euro. Once you've set the amount, all that's left to do is to click on the buy button. Now, there is a possibility that the coin you want to buy isn't available for the fiat currency you have. An example of this is Algorand. As you can see, you can buy Algo with euro. 
So what you need to do then is to convert your fiat currency into USDT. If you want to do this, you need to go over to the search bar and fill in the ticker symbol of your fiat currency. So that's your, and you'll then have to enter USDT. You'll then see this pair pop up and you need to click on it. Now again, you'll have to go over to the place order section. If you're using the pro layout, this will be on the right side of your screen. And if you're using the default layout, this will be in the middle of your screen, down at the bottom. You'll then have to go over to sell and click on market. Now, all that's left to do is to fill in the amount of fiat currency you would like to convert into USDT. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on the sell button. How to buy crypto using USDT. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies using USDT, you'll have to go over to markets and click on fiat markets. You'll then have to go over to the search bar and fill in the ticker symbol of the coin you would like to buy. For me, this will be Algorand. The ticker symbol of Algorand is Algo, and once you've filled in the ticker symbol, you'll have to fill in USDT. You'll then see this pair, and you need to click on it. Now, over on this page, you want to go over to the place order section. If you're using the pro layout, this will be on the right side of your screen. And if you're using the default layout, this will be on the middle of your screen, down at the bottom. You'll then have to go over to buy and decide if you want to buy your cryptocurrency using a limit order or using a market order. Using a limit order, you can set the maximum amount of USDT you are willing to spend per coin. You'll then have to fill in the amount and click on the buy button. And if you want to buy your cryptocurrency for the current market price, you can go over to market and just fill in the amount of USDT you want to spend on buying your coin. Once you've done that, you can click on the buy button. How to track your portfolio using a portfolio tracker. There are multiple portfolio trackers available, but the three most commonly used are Blockfolio, Delta and Coinstats. In this video, I will show you how to connect Binance to Delta, but if you'd prefer to connect Binance to Blockfolio or Coinstats, I'll leave a link to the tutorials I've made on how to do so in the description down below. If you want to connect Binance to Delta, the first thing you'll have to do is to go over to Binance. You'll then need to go over to the icon in the top right and go over to API Management. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. So what you need to do now is to give the API key a label. I'll go ahead and fill in Delta, but the name really doesn't matter. And once you've given your API key a name, you can click on Create API. You'll then have to go through the security verification process. So just click on Click to get code and fill in your Google code as well as the email verification code. And once you've filled in your two-factor authentication codes, you can click on Submit. Now your API key has been created and you will be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you want to scroll down, go over to your API key and click on edit restrictions. Now you want to disable every single thing except for enable reading. Also, make sure that over on your IP access restrictions, you have unrestricted selected. You can now go ahead and click on save. You'll now need to go over to your phone and open up the Delta app. Once it's loaded, You'll see a screen looking similar to this one. And you want to click on the plus button, saying, Create a portfolio by adding your first transaction. You'll then have to give your new portfolio a name. So I'll go ahead and fill in Binance. Once you have given your portfolio a name, you'll see this screen. And again, you need to click on the plus button in the middle of your screen. Now you need to click on Connect Wallet. You'll then see all the wallets available. And you need to click on Binance, or if you have a Binance US account, Click on Binance US. You can now just click on I understand. The next thing you need to do is to go over to your computer and make sure your QR code is visible on your computer screen. You can then go back over to your phone and you need to click on the camera icon to the right of API key. If Delta asks you to use your camera, click on OK. You'll then need to just scan your QR code. And once you've captured your QR code, you can click on use this value. As you guys can see, my API key has been imported. If you want to customize which information does and does not get imported, you can click on import over at additional options. You can now choose between importing all your transactions, importing all your transactions since a date, importing new transactions only, or importing balances only. So I'll go ahead and select import all transactions. And once you've selected what you want to import, all that's left to do is to click on add connection. If you want to withdraw money or cryptocurrencies from Binance, the first thing you need to do is to go over to Wallet in the top right and then you want to click on Find and Spot. You will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you want to click on the Withdrawal button right here. 
If you want to withdraw cryptocurrencies from Binance, you'll need to go over to Withdraw Crypto. And if you're being sent over to the Withdraw Fiat page, you need to go over to the top left and click on Crypto to rewrite a Fiat, and you'll then be sent over to the Withdraw Crypto page. The first thing you need to do, if you want to withdraw crypto, is to go over to their coin selector and search for the coin you would like to withdraw. You can also scroll through your holdings right here and select the coin you would like to withdraw. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the address you would like to transfer to. To find this address, you need to go over to the exchange you would like to transfer to. If you're not sure how to transfer from Binance to another exchange, you could go over to my channel, go over to the search icon, click on it and search for Binance and then the exchange you would like to transfer to. You'll then be able to select the video you're looking for. So let's say that the coin I would like to transfer from Binance to Coinbase is Fetch. I would go over to Coinbase, click on send slash receive in the top right, go over to receive, and then you want to search for the coin you would like to receive. In this case, that's Fed. You'll then need to click on the coin, and you can then copy your address by clicking on the copy icon. When you go back over to Binance, you need to paste in your address, and then you need to select the right network. In this case, that's the Ethereum network. Once you have selected the address and the network you want to use for your transfer, you need to fill in the amount you would like to transfer. You can fill in this amount manually, or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. You can then go ahead, click on withdrawal, and then please double check all the information to make sure you haven't made any unnecessary mistakes, and you can then go ahead and click on continue. You'll then need to go through the security verification process, but I won't do so since I don't actually want to transfer my crypto. I will now show you how to withdraw money from Binance directly into your bank account. What you need to do is to go over to Wallet in the top right and then you want to click Confide and Spot. You will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you want to click on the Withdraw button in the top right. If you're being sent over to the Withdrawal Crypto page, you can go over to this button right here and click on Withdrawal via it. Over on this page, the first thing you need to do is to select the currency you would like to withdraw. For me, this will be the Euro, since I live in Europe. You'll then have to select the method you want to use to withdraw your money. For me, this will be the bank card. And once you have selected the method, you can go ahead and enter the amount you would like to withdraw. You can fill in this amount manually, or you can click on the max button right here to select all of your available holdings. The next thing you need to do is to go over to withdraw to, and you can then select the card you want to withdraw to. Or you can add a new card by going over here, clicking on add new card, fill in your card number, your expire date and your security code. And once you've done that, you can click on add card. You'll then have to click on continue, go through the security verification process, and that's it. There's one last thing I want to show you in this video, and that's how to find your PNL, also known as your spot profit and loss analysis. To find your PNL, you need to go over to wallet in the top right and then you want to click on Fight and Spot. You'll then be sent over to this page. And here, you need to go over to yesterday's PNL and press on this arrow right here. You will then be sent over to the Spot Profit and Loss Analysis. Here, you can see your estimated balance, yesterday's PNL, the 30 days PNL, and way more. You can see things like your asset allocation, your asset net worth, your profits, your daily PNL, over the last 7 days, the last 30 days, or even select a custom period. And I think this is really interesting, so make sure to check this page out. And with all of that being said, if this tutorial was helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more straightforward tutorials about cryptocurrencies.